Well, welcome back everyone. This is, I believe, part five of Megalomania on Transport Fever 2. Uh, as you can see, we're riding a train. Uh, and, well, this is not terribly exciting. Uh, we have tracks ahead of us and signals and uh, all those rocks in the fields and not much else going on other than that we're pretty much exactly where uh, we left off last time around. It looks like I have managed to fix the recording setup. So, uh, yeah, uh, there should be no more black bars. Uh, but of course, uh, uh, doing things right is hard. So, yeah, uh, I'll probably screw it up again. Oh, look, we have an oncoming train. Uh, so yeah, this is coming into the McAllen uh, uh, station. Uh, that's a uh, passenger train heading back to Long Beach. Uh, and we'll be pulling in on the uh, cargo platform on the left. Uh, and that's basically, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll probably be, uh, uh, well, the plan this time is to uh, dual track the rest of the current layout and then oh there's autosave and then get at least started on the tools uh, production chain so I can bring tools into uh, Long Beach uh, of course I've been doing that for the past two parts now so you know uh, there is that uh, anyway, uh, that's enough lollygagging around riding trains. Uh, as you can see, we're making proper proper cash now. Uh, so uh, it's uh, time to uh, to uh, come up here and uh, dual track everything else and get this layout all nice and uh, proper. Uh, that also means fixing this lumpitude here uh, so that uh, things aren't quite so ridiculous. Uh, so uh, I'm going to end up doing that with the game paused. Maybe not. No. Um, well, it'll really mess with the uh, passenger line if I don't pause it. So uh, yeah, I'll pause it here, uh, and I need to take this out. Okay, uh, one more, okay. And I need to, uh, take a chunk of this road out. Now, uh, let's bring this out straight for a bit, and flat. Okay. Now, uh, build another bit here that is also flat, and link it up. Now, uh, I'm going to bring this out a bit further. Uh, now, I, I want the double track on this side, so... Uh, no, I've come too far on that. Uh, and uh, now I need to... Uh, 81 is okay. 81 is okay. Um, although I don't like that weekly bit there. Um, right. Uh, okay, so I'll just, you know, I wish it was easier to uh, just clobber a small piece of track. Uh, but, now, how how is this going to, that's definitely better. Uh, okay. Okay, I can take 110. And we'll make that proper level. 
and bring this around to match up. Now, while I'm over here, so I don't forget, uh, I'll back this up one more segment and then uh, do I want to uh, put a bridge here? Uh, you know, I kind of should. Now, if we go up, keep going up until we get a bridge. That is... Um, yeah. Well, that will allow me to get a road or something under either side, but... Well, that's still saying collision. Okay, we've got to go that high. Mm, 80k. Uh, do I like that? No. No, I, I do not like that. So what are you going to do about it? Um... What am I going to... Uh, I am going to not take it. Uh, let's do this another way. Okay. Two, three ticks, is that enough? No. Four ticks. Is that enough? No. Go some partial ticks. Is that enough? Yes. Oh, well, that is just brilliant. Um, no, we don't. We want that level. Collision. Naturally. So we need one more tick up. Okay. So we take up one more and then we grab uh, here to here. That looks ridiculous, but that's level. So are you going to take it? Um, well, it lines up sort of with the road, so Yes, you're going to take it. Now, uh, let's get this back down. Uh, now let's link this up. And we're going to make a embankment here, uh, as opposed to a bridge. It costs more, but it looks much, much nicer. Uh, and we can kind of afford it. So, uh, there we go. Now, I suppose you feel all pleased with yourself. You have a bridge. A, is that a rust-colored bridge, even? Um, but you know what? Yes, this is good. And now the trains here won't interfere with the traffic there. Okay, enough messing with the roads. Um... And that is the nasty lumpiness that I complained about a few episodes ago. So, we'll clear this. Uh, kick the train back. Okay. Now, I suppose you, were, you feel all, all clever for doing that. Well, yes. And uh, stop pretending like you're Colonel Failure. Uh, it's funny when he does it, but it's not so funny when you do it. So don't do it. Now, 
That is a horrible, lumpy mess. I think. Is it, though? Well, I don't know. That, that actually looks reasonable. You know what? Stop monkeying around with it. Take it. Uh, okay. Now you need to bring the other line in. Good. Now, you need some signals on that. I suppose I do. Uh, again, stop making like kernel failure. You're not kernel failure. No, 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 I'm definitely not kernel failure. Kernel failure is funny. No way on earth I'm funny. Well, maybe. But you sure think you're funny, don't you? Well, not really. Well, that's enough of that. Okay. Now, what do we do here? We need to get a spur off to go to that depot thing. So how are we going to do that? Well, we'll come back here and we'll do this. So that should make this not look ugly. It seems like it's so you're going to keep fine tuning that all episode well no uh good now this can go down here okay so that can be lumpy as it wants okay this you need to double slip that yes okay so that is double tracked and not nearly so terrible let's start the thing going again Oh look, an accordion train. Um, right. So, that's double tracked. And a lot less lumpy. And that bridge doesn't look half bad from, uh, from this angle. Uh, it'd be nice if you could uh, control the uh, bridge uh, piers uh, a bit better. Because it'd be nice to have a pier on both sides. But, you know... Uh, you, you take what you can get. Now, let's just see. What does it look like coming at it this way? Um, well, it looks like a bridge. And there it is coming into view around the corner. And what do you know? It's a bridge. Well, that's enough of that business. Um, right. So, our next order of business is messing around up here. Uh, now here, one would potentially think that uh, straightening this out and dual tracking it, uh, you know, combining these two bits here on the station approach would be a good idea. But, I am thinking not so much. Uh, yeah, really not so much. Um, well, what I want to do... Can I get this road to go... On? Yeah, hey, yeah. That might be what I want to do there. Okay, you... Pause. Uh, we have 800k in the bank. We can do this. Okay. Let's take these out, um, like so, and first things first, let's feed these tracks out straight and level. Right. Well... We're going to have to rebuild this road. Okay, so now oh, we've got to get rid of that too. Uh, right, so we'll plumb a little bit more track in here. Level. Okay. Now, 
I think we have to go under here with the road. Yes, yes, I think under is the is the way to go here. Um, right, back up. Now, well, we could make a level crossing. We can't, can't, we can go under. How bad is that? Well, it's not quite as bad if we do that. That would be potentially better if uh, it was a rail bridge, but no, that would be way too fiddly. I don't need to make a bridge episode this early on, um, but yeah, take it. So we're not going to get away from having a hill on that road, but we'll do this. Wind that back a bit and get a better slope at least here. Yeah. Okay. That I think we'll do for now. Uh, this is definitely not ideal here. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Well, it means I'm not going to do anything about it. That's what it means. Oh. Right. And again. Uh, okay, no. I need to back this up. That's lumpy. Okay. Right. Good. Suppose you think you're clever demolishing all of the track. No, no I don't. Uh, right. Okay. Starting here, we'll go... We'll try keeping things level-ish. Uh, right. How... I think... That's actually... I think that might be fairly close, so I'll just keep it level through here. Uh, at the very least, it's going to uh, improve the situation for for the uh, trains. Um, that's actually not so bad. Okay, I'll take that. And this one... I think I need to back it back this up to here. Yeah. And then fling this around here. Yeah. Well that reconnects most of it. Wait, what? Hello. Oh, that's just a that's just a wiggle in the track. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, we'll keep the wiggle in the track. Uh, and this needs to come around like so. And it can diverge here. Well, but what if I come back here and diverge it that way? Well, that will work. Okay. Now. Signals. Always with the signals, man. So, a signal. And signals. I actually like that little arrow that pops up here in uh, Transport Fever 2 when you're uh, putting signals. It gives you a much better idea if you're on the correct side of the track. Okay, so that will uh, will be functional. 
Okay, let's move the uh, game going forward again. Now, this portion, I should be able to add a track without causing too much pain uh, to the running train. We don't have enough money. Borrow some. Okay. Uh, right. So we bring this up here. We bring it up here. And we need to... Wait, we can start that further back. To do this. And then we go down here with the signals again. And a signal there. And we'll put one here. And we'll put a couple in the middle. There we go. So that's basically everything double tracked. And I need one more thing in here. And that's a crossover so that the uh, trains can come from the depot uh, if needed. Okay. Well, this uh, tunnel and this bridge here should uh, should prevent needing. Uh, it, sh it should um, what? Oh, it's climbing the hill. <laughs> it should at least prevent the uh, traffic from stopping dead. Uh, okay, now. Uh, right. I wanted to duplicate this train. Uh, manage vehicle. Not enough money. I really wish it would say how much money is needed. Uh, right, get the train back. Uh, duplicate, not enough money. Borrow. Duplicate, not enough money. Huh. Okay. Uh, what's the line saying? Uh, that's Conmat. No, that's uh, uh, uh Stone. Uh, rate 178 yeah I need uh, one more train on that uh, well let's wind time ahead uh, you know it looks like that uh, tools to Long Beach setup is uh, going to be a uh, to come on arrows bridge if you've uh, uh, listened to the now there's your problem uh, podcast at all um, and if you have, uh, well, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, well, then you don't. Uh, but, you know, basically, uh, at the end of every episode, uh, they say, next episode, uh, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. And, uh, yeah. And, of course, the next episode is never the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Uh, probably until it is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, in which case everyone will go, huh? And then at the end of that one, the next episode will almost certainly be the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Um, because, well, that would just, you know, run with the joke. Um, okay, we'll go back in here. Do we have enough? No. Uh, do we have enough now? No. Um... We still don't have enough. No. Uh, 
<laughs> That's kind of a cool sound, though. Um, right. Uh, can, vehicles are in in uh, very poor condition. Yep. Right. Well, it takes money to do anything about that, um, and uh, there really isn't enough money going at the moment to do anything about that. Uh, looks like I might perhaps need more uh, trucks on this line. Although, by the look of it, it can't really go any faster, so perhaps not. Uh, right. Uh, so, this guy's coming in for a delivery, which will hopefully uh, uh, kick up some uh, cash. Um, okay. Do we have enough now? We do! Good. Now, for kicks, let's... Um, Close that. Let's ride along here uh, at warp speed. Uh, well, it's coming up onto the right line. And it's going to go into the delivery end first because that's the only way, only station it can get to from here. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, oh, look, it's coming up on half an hour for the episode now. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that wiggle's not so bad. Uh, ideally, I should have knocked a segment back over here. That would have given me a lack of wiggle. But, you know what? It's fine. Well, that doesn't look half bad. Okay. And we do nothing, and then we head back this way. But we got trains just whizzing about the place here. Right. Well, let's slow this down to normal speed. Um, right. So, yeah. This isn't looking half bad, really. Uh, well, let's get out of here. Um, you know, kill the noise. Um, apparently, according to uh, OBS, the encoding is overloaded. It might be because there is too much stuff going on. And uh, Transport Fever 2 is actually quite heavy on CPU usage, so that's not surprising. Uh, this, yeah, it's complaining about being overloaded. So it'll take uh, probably a few trips for this to uh, catch up. Actually, I don't think it will quite catch up because the rate is, going to, is still going to be under 400, and uh, this thing produces 400, so... Uh, but I don't think uh, it's worth trying to put m uh, more uh, rolling stock down this line uh, just yet. Uh, two trains is all I'll need on that line. Uh, is these things, these primary industries never upgrade. So they, they produce their 400 and they, that's all they produce, just their 400. So uh, that will uh, max out that... Uh, that pathway, uh, probably with two or three more uh, gondolas. Um, okay, let's uh, speed this up again. Uh, I want to see uh, how much a delivery here is, because I didn't pay attention last time. Uh, I also uh, need to accumulate money uh, before I can uh, do anything else, including that uh, tools chain. Uh, which, uh, you know, after this, that's it's actually looking more likely that, uh, that I'll, I'll manage to, uh, to do that. Uh, okay, so this is coming in for a delivery. Oh, yeah, we should be able to keep this train full now. 
because I think this guy is, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this guy is running out of uh, stone to uh, do its production. Ooh, we get a new vehicle, the uh, Russian uh, Class T Type 1. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever that is. Okay. Uh, so we're starting to get new, uh, new, uh, rolling stock, uh, coming up. Uh, we still have quite a bit of actual, uh, um, calendar time before, uh, new, uh, road vehicles of any use start appearing. Uh, uh so now... Uh, oh, we're delivering enough that uh, the, the CONMAP plant uh, thinks it's going to upgrade. So uh, that will uh, potentially help. Uh, that'll increase its throughput. Uh, and that, uh, that definitely can't be a bad thing. Uh, and the more stuff that it can generate that needs to be delivered, the more stuff... Um, that we can deliver uh, and uh, as a result the more money that uh, we can earn uh, now this looks like the uh, the exciting place to hang out uh, what with uh, what with trains whizzing all around the joint here uh, trains and uh, 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 horse-drawn carts uh, whizzing about the place uh, yeah, so we got a cart climbing up into the truck stop there, and we got a, a, a stone train heading back to the quarry. Uh, we should have another stone train appearing uh, off the left of the screen there, uh, and probably another uh, CONMAT train appearing on the right of the screen there. There we go. There's one appearing on the right. Uh, and then there's the stone quarry train. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, and it looks like the combat plant did, in fact, upgrade. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's definitely going to, uh, uh, going to help uh, somewhat. Um, right. So, uh, let's uh, close that and uh, take a look in here. Uh, and this, uh, this quarter, uh, we're coming up on just about a million dollars in uh, turnover here. Uh, yeah, about a million dollars in turnover. No, nope, it was 800, uh, 800K. So, yeah. Uh, well, I can repay some of the loan. You know, there are players that, are, that seem to be allergic to uh, repaying the loan. They, they think it's a bad idea. But while you're waiting for money to accumulate, uh, paying back the loan uh, uh, helps a little bit with uh, the speed of the money ticking up, at least early in the game. And seriously, what's it harm to pay it back? You can always take it again when you actually need it uh, and save yourself a few dollars in the meantime. So really, uh, I, I don't understand why they think it's such a terrible idea to repay the loan. Uh, and I personally uh, prefer uh, no negative signs in my numbers. Uh, and a loan balance is a massive negative sign. I do wish they'd have a uh, like control repay or something, repays everything it possibly can. Uh, I don't think they've, they have that. Um, well, let's see. If they do it would work on borrow as well. Nope. They don't have it. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's all for this time, I guess, uh, this, uh, this whole uh, remodeling uh, adventure. 
but now everything's dual tracked and I've got uh, I think enough trains uh, whizzing about to uh, keep things operational for a while now uh, so uh, you know, and enough that we get some interesting uh, business going on here uh, so yeah uh, basically it's uh, middle of 1857 so seven and a half years into the game and I've got a fully uh, functional uh, profitable um, transport company going uh, and I could just leave it like this for uh, for quite a while and it would continue to tick over uh, and that um, that of course uh, it would be boring so I'm not going to do that uh, but anyway before I go uh, a note on the schedule uh, I'm planning to have these uh, come out uh, every day or so on weekdays so the first one came out on January 1st uh, 2020 uh, obviously because that's when it uh, when it came out uh, I'm recording a whole bunch of these uh, in one go uh, ahead of time uh, so uh, the first three I did in one go uh, and then this one and the previous one uh, so uh, at some point along the way probably in the next week or so there's probably going to be a patch from urban games uh, just because there have been some bugs that have uh, shown up uh, that can't be explained entirely by people having uh, broken hardware so uh, I expect they will be releasing a patch after they get back from their uh, holiday break uh, so that's probably end of this week early early next week as I'm recording this so that would be uh, say around the uh, 3rd to uh, 6th of uh, January uh, which will have passed by the time you're watching this so uh, but I'm planning to uh, get somewhere around a, tw a 25 to 40 minute episode out for uh, most weekdays uh, at least until I get bored with this uh, this save game and then uh, at some point I will uh, uh, I'll probably move on to another game for a bit uh, or maybe just uh, play a new map, uh, maybe a, a map with islands and so on, uh, and, and then we can get the boats going. You, there's no no water on this map to do boats with, really, so you know, they don't make sense. Anyway, next time, uh, tools to Long Beach uh, or the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, uh, whichever one uh, whichever one comes first. Uh, so I guess that's all for this time. See you back next time.